like you, I too bought my camera from the deep, dark, dangerous alleys of Craigslist. And like any good Samaritan, they did me the favor of putting the CD where it belongs. So take my hand and join me with setting it up without the CD. Open up your favorite browser, search for Canon, go to the US website, click on support, then go to drivers and downloads, and then type in your camera model. For this video, I'm going to be downloading it for the Canon 70D. It may take a little bit for the results to come up because Canon's website is crap. When you see the results, click on the video creator kit, and then you can hit enter or select go. Once the page is loaded, you scroll down to EOS Utility Updater and download that one. Mine's for Windows. The way that you download it is you hit the select button, and then you hit the download button, which comes up just below it. After your download is complete, you're going to want to go to where the file downloaded and extract it. If you try and run the extracted file, you'll notice that the start CD search will not actually work. This is because we still have to set up our computers to make Canon think that we do have the CD when we really don't. To do this, hit the start key and type in reg edit and hit enter. This will open up the registry editor and what we're going to want to do is click on underneath computer H key underscore local underscore machine and then go into software and then go into wow 6432 node go into that and then right click on the wow 6432 node new key and then rename that to canon after that's done you create a key inside of the one that we just did and call it eos utility and now we're done you can close all that out and then open up the file that you downloaded and run it And then just go through the setup, doing what you would like. Then find where the EOS utility was installed into your computer by either pressing start and search for it, or in the top left corner, there's a recently added section, which it might be in there. If all your text is still gray, that means that your computer has not picked up that your camera is plugged in. So double check that it's plugged in and then just push one of the buttons as well as making sure the camera is turned on in order for it to recognize it. To use the camera, select camera settings or remote settings. Here's where you can fully control your camera from the computer, which if you want to see more tutorials on this part, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, to view what your camera is seeing, click view live shoot.